thing that I hate about K-pop shorts is, the fact that it's short. Yes I know it's supposed to be short because it's called K-pop shorts, but I hate that it's short, since I like long videos, instead of short ones. I also make long videos, and I've gotten used to long video formats. Also whenever I watch K-pop shorts, it gets over so quickly, and it just sucks. I know that this is not something serious to hate, but when I look at normal shorts, they're also short videos, and they feel longer than K-pop shorts. IDKY, but I don't like that K-pop shorts are so short. I do still watch them, but I watch K-tube videos more, because most of them are longer and give me the exact same type of content. The next thing that I hate about K-pop shorts is, the fact that you have to upload almost every day. Like with K-tube or regular K-pop content, like mashups, line distributions and other fun videos, you can make a long or semi-long video, and wouldn't have to worry about posting a new video so soon, considering your video was long enough to keep your subs happy. But with K-pop shorts, the videos are under 1 minute and no more, and every day you'll have to upload to keep your subs happy, because these are super short videos, and having to edit new ones is easy, but you have to edit almost every day. I make K-pop shorts, so I feel this, upload every day, thing. I run 4 channels. Whenever I upload to 2 of my main channels K-Tube and Mashups, I get satisfaction that I don't have to upload a new video for like a day or two. But for my K-pop shorts channel Yun Jaeyong, I always upload and then feel like I need to upload more, even though I just uploaded like one day or a few hours ago, because they're K-pop shorts, and they're super short and it just makes me feel like I need to make a new one, because I feel like I have to, since they're not long enough videos for people to watch, and I have to upload more, so people have more videos. The next thing that I hate about K-pop shorts is, misinformation. Now this is not about the short itself, but about the creators. Some K-pop short content makers, do not research that much when it comes to videos, and then they make misinformed K-pop shorts, which one or two or maybe more people, comment to tell them the correct information. The channel that made the, rare concepts in K-pop, short and added the cute concept as one of the rare concepts in K-pop, means this channel basically never checked on any of the concepts added in the short, and it's true. Because if the channel added cute concepts without knowing that cute concepts thrive amongst smaller or lesser known company girl groups who don't get a lot of views or good views, then the channel never researched on any of the concepts added or probably did, but did quick and fast research only on the more well-known small portion of K-pop that most people know about and listen to. Also this short has 500,000 plus views, and some of people in the comments, comment about the cute concept, but are talking about it in the sense that it's dying, or that girl crush is popular and things. I just hate misinformation shorts, and I wish people did more research, because shorts get a lot of views, and some of them have misinformation, and some shorts could lead people to think differently, instead of knowing the truth. The next thing that I hate about K-pop shorts is, shorts that are super creepy or downright weird. Examples Theories about K-pop. Some of them are just weird ass theories that are creepy or odd and um, what are these people thinking, and IDK where these theories come from. Do they come from K-pop stands or the creator of the short, because the theories are absurd, and it makes me wonder, how do people think of such crap, and why are people's thoughts like this? Single quote dot. Also another short example, K-pop idols with big noses or a big something, or things like that if you're insecure, or some shit. I forgot the title, but these are just hella creepy, and some are just inappropriate and it just disgusts me. Like why do you need to share idols who have big body parts, just so people can feel better about themselves. People who feel insecure, don't need to see these weird shorts. If they're feeling insecure, they can just seek advice from a friend or a family member or something. The last thing that I hate about K-pop shorts is, unoriginal or boring content. Like I've seen K-pop short channels not have original content. Examples. K-pop songs that sound similar. I've seen two to three channels mention the Back to You by Liam Tomlinson, BB Rexa and EXO's Love Shot. And though there are some channels that have original content, others just have similar ideas, add the same or similar songs, and there's nothing original at all. It's just not that great to see people not have original ideas. Also I don't like K-pop shorts that are not unique ideas. Like for example, K-pop songs for summer, or, K-pop songs to help you study, are fun ideas, but ideas like for example, some K-pop groups, meaning the idea is just random K-pop groups being named, because the title called some K-pop groups, is just random and it makes no sense, and is boring. And yes I saw a K-pop short like this, and it was pure randomness. Ideas like these are just an interesting.
People should stop making shorts similar to others and have some originality, and also stop making boring shorts that are not attention grabbing. That's all. <laughs>